So lately I've been making a lot of pop songs in GarageBand and I love getting creative with vocal production within GarageBand. God is so good to me. God is so good to me. So here recently, I wanted to know, could I create a vocoder effect on my voice in GarageBand? A vocoder is a plugin that was popularized by bands like Daft Punk, and essentially it takes your original vocal and splits it out into several different vocals that line up actually with a keyboard melody instead of your lead vocal. So, good to me. so I did a lot of experimenting and I came up with something that I really like. So I want to share that with you guys in this video. Let's dive in. All right. So we're here inside of a GarageBand project where I really wanted to use the vocoder effect on my voice. And so if you remember me saying it at the beginning, essentially what the vocoder effect is, is it takes your original single voice and it creates multiple layers with it. But all of these extras actually follow the melody of a keyboard, of a MIDI performance instead of your lead vocal. And they have this very robotic synthy sound to it. It's almost like you took your voice and turned it into all of these synthesizers. So to recreate that in GarageBand, number one, I simply asked the question, is there a vocoder plugin that's native to GarageBand? And sadly, the answer is no. But don't get all sad about it because a lot of times what you think is a dead end in GarageBand actually has a workaround. So I wanna show you how I came up with a vocoder workaround. All right, so if we look at my electric piano performance, you can see these notes that I'm playing. Let me solo it. And so what we need to do is we actually need to get my voice to follow the three notes of each chord, okay? So in this instance, I'm playing a G major, and so the notes are G, B, and D. And so what I did is I actually sang a G note, a B note, and a D note. And so I, essentially I'm singing a chord. Check this out. So that's the nuts and bolts of how you do it. And I'll admit, this takes a little time to go through each and every note and single them out and actually sing your part in there. And then I would mess up and I'd re-sing it. You can see how many takes that I have right here. But once you do that, then you have a great foundation for a vocoder effect. So beyond that, there's a little bit of processing that can help it really sound like the vocoder effect. So if I click here and hit B on my typing keyboard, you can see the processing, the plugins that I have on this vocal. Number one, I have some master reverb turned up about halfway. I commonly do that. Then number two, I have pitch correction turned all the way on, which you actually hit E on your typing keyboard, hit track, slide that all the way to 100. And if you know the key of your song and you've set it beforehand, then go ahead and hit limit to key and it will keep your note stuck right on the right note. But if you don't know the key of your song, if you haven't set this, then leave the limit to key off because then it'll just correct it to the closest note that you're singing at. All right, so I'll hit B again. And the other thing that I did after that was I added a phaser. So if you go under modulation, you hit phaser. And then I added a flanger, same place in under modulation and flanger. So if I take off the phaser and the flanger, it would sound like that is so good to like that. But if I add that phaser, I add that flanger. That is so good to it really has a much more robotic or vocoder sound to it. Okay, so I basically did that on one track. And then I just copied and pasted or I duplicated by hitting Command D, which then it, it duplicates all of your settings so you don't have to redo that every time on every track. So that is a little hack for how to save some time. So I did that to all of these tracks and I have. That is so good to me. So cool, right? I think it sounds really cool. And then the last thing that I did was I actually added a high octave or like a chipmunk squirrel and then a low octave like a monster voice and if you've seen my videos on how to use the vocal transformer then you'll know how to do that and if not I will put the link for that video or both of those videos here in the description but then you add those in and you have that is so good to me. 
God is so good to me. And then when I add that in with the original vocal on top of it, you have God is so good to me. Yeah, God is so good to me. And then, of course, we bring it all into context with the rest of the mix, and you have God is so good to me. God is so good to me. So I think it, it works, and even if it's not exactly a vocoder effect, I'm not trying to say it. it's exactly the same. I think it's a really cool effect that would be in the ballpark of a vocoder effect. So try and mimic this or, or even see if you can come up with your own version of a really cool stacked vocal layer and effect in your next GarageBand pop song or really any song you're recording in GarageBand. So this is Dean from the Songwriting Studio and I'll catch you in the next video.